everyone, my name is Tomodachi. Welcome back to another episode of Tomodachi Podcast. And today, I got some bad news for anyone who is a fan of Joe Bell Arts, or has at least subscribed to them, or at least have heard of them. Her account got hacked. Yep, that's right, you heard me correctly. Her account got hacked. Now, I don't know exactly the full story, so I'm going to be telling this story from my perspective or like how I figured out about this. So it all began when I was like, you know, relaxing, checking out some videos, watching Phil and Defeats, YouTube stuff, do do do, stuff like that. And that's when I noticed in my notification that Joe Arts changed her profile pic. Now keep in mind, I subscribed to her before I realized that her account got hacked. I know her that she made My Hero Academia comic dubs, uh, comic dubs about a Helltaker, Henry Stickman. I was expecting for her to do one about Among Us since that's really popular. Anyways, moving on. I was thought, and turns out, I realized that she was doing a live stream. And I thought, huh, this ought to get interesting. But turns out, it wasn't her. It was just some random people talking about some random thing. Just saying yeah, about a $5,000 sale giveaway. It, it, the, the brand was called Silquilla or something. I don't know. Basically, whatever it was, it wasn't Joe Bat Arts. It wasn't a Helltaker comic dub. It wasn't My Hero Academia. It wasn't Henry Stickman. It wasn't Undertale. It wasn't any comic dub whatsoever. It was just basically a bunch of random people that probably had nothing to do with Joe Bat Arts. Just talking about some random product that nobody even wants to know about. And I was confused. I was like... What the hell? So I went to go on to actually check her account and turns out all her videos were gone. They were completely gone. I checked, they were all gone. I went to check on a notification of a video she did earlier and it was private. So apparently these guys private all her videos. And that's when I came to the conclusion. Her account got hacked. Her account got hacked by these guys who's trying to sell some dumb brand or whatever. Look, I know advertisements can be annoying and all, but this is taking it to a whole new level. Like, going to hack somebody's account just so you can advertise something is completely messed up. You don't do that. If you want to advertise something, don't hack other people's accounts so you can advertise it. It'll make you look like a bad person. So basically, I was scared. I was like, what the hell? What What's going on with her? And that left me to wonder, if since I'm subscribed to her, does that mean my account will get hacked too? But then I realized, probably not. I don't know how any of this works. And basically, what I'm trying to say is, Joba Arts had her account hacked. And we need to help her for it. Now, of course, we could, I could go on to Twitter and try to talk to the YouTube team about it. But then I realize I don't have a Twitter, nor do I want to get one. Because, you know, I really do... <laughs> I really do not want to take the chance of talking to like a bunch of toxic people and probably getting attacked and probably starting some drama. I really do not like getting involved in drama. Remember the Phil and Sophie drama I talked about a while back that I accidentally started? Yeah, I don't want to make that same mistake again. So that's why the only social media post I use is YouTube where I can upload my YouTube videos. So yeah... So instead, I'm trying to like spread the word, you know, trying to let people know that this innocent comic dub artist is literally had her own account hacked by these people who are trying to advertise something, I don't know, or trying to like, you know, hack other people. I don't know what they're doing, but whatever it is, it is messed up. It is just wrong. All right, so... If you're watching this video, and if you're a fan of Joe Bar Arts, or at least have earned her subscription, 
please help her out any way you can. Talk to the YouTube team about it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I can't do that since I don't want to take the risk of starting any drama again. Um, you know, like, maybe you don't have to do that. Maybe you could be doing what I'm doing right now. Trying to, like, spread the word on YouTube, you know. Like, tell other people that she needs your help. It would really mean a lot to everyone out there. Please. And Joe Black Arts, if you're watching this... We're helping you any way we can. We got you. <sighs> so yeah, guys. I'm sorry that today's episode of Tomodachi Podcast got a little scary, a little serious, actually. But don't worry. I'll try to, like, you know, make it, like, more happier and sillier next time. And I just wanted to, like, you know, help out this fellow comic dub artist who really is just trying to make a living off of YouTube, like all of us are. Anyways, guys, I really hope you get the chance to, like, help out this innocent comic dub artist. And I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Tomodachi Podcast. If you do, then please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and help, and and leave a like. <sighs> Dang it, I forgot what to put in. Anyways, please don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified. And again, please help out Joba Arts any way you can. As always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! -a.